Welcome to Third Phase UFO Report. I'm Rich Giordano from Goofon. Here is today's report. EBEs, Extraterrestrial Biological Entities. What are they? Nobody knows, but we've got something captured by the sun, one by the ISS, and one by a drone, which was featured on Third Phase of Moon last week. We're going to throw up some enhancements on that, zoom into something special, and try to figure out what's flying around in our skies and around the Earth. Let's take a look. We'll start with this one. So the Secret Vault definitely captured something that's kind of amazing, and I really like his breakdown of the footage that he captured, and we're watching it once again. We're going to leave our opinions here in just a moment, but according to the Secret Vault, He's actually doing more enhancements of this video as he stated that he's going to remove the noise. So guys, what is going on? We're seeing it again come into frame here. Is this some kind of biological organism? It almost looks like thread just kind of bundled up. But watching it again in reverse, I like again it does seem that it comes from a great distance and into frame next to the drone it's not like in close proximity to the drone itself this thing was by the tree line as secret vault stated brett what's your thoughts here this one's got me stumped yeah this one's wild i really appreciate the the heads up on this secret vault and look what's happening here i i just looked at the time clock as it went in reverse this only takes place in like one to two seconds. Whatever's coming from the trees is accelerating at tremendous speeds. Let's get another look at this thing. Here it comes. We see it in frame. And this takes place again within seconds. You can tell this just zooms by with propulsion that we're not familiar with. Look at the speed it picks up. This again is in slow motion. Two seconds of framing right here and it just whips by. What is this thing? It's wild. Yeah, we got a still photograph of it right there. Obviously it's blurred out, but again, there is no explanation to what this is. And I'm glad that the secret vault was uh, able to get this footage out to us. And again, we're gonna be supplying the original link below. It's important that the public from around the world share the phenomenon, and that's what we're doing. We're in collaboration with thousands of, tens of thousands of people across this planet giving us the information on a daily basis. And I really like the intensity of his passion in regards to trying to dissect this video. And right now he's, He's stumped. He, he can't give us an explanation. And neither can we right here at Third Phase Moon. Guys, I want to get your thoughts. Obviously, it has this threadish string-like characteristics to it. Could it be, again, biological in nature? Some kind of life form that drifts at incredible amounts of speeds. Biological unknown. Propulsion unknown. That's why we're putting out these videos. We even have more videos coming up in just a sec, but guys, I'm going over your comments right now in this live premiere. I wanna get your thoughts, Brent. Yeah, welcome everybody in the chat room. You guys are awesome there. Again, uh, uh, we need to see the fast motion. We pointed out in the beginning of the video where you see the speed of this thing, it really shows the acceleration and that's what blows me away. This thing's coming from, it looks like uh, two football fields to say the least, maybe even three and it just catches up to the drone in, in basically seconds. Absolutely, here's the pause frame on the image itself. We're asking the big questions. What is it? This may be one of my favorite UFOs of all time. It is very interesting. now. Before you start saying hoax or CGI, I'm going to show you something that would be nearly impossible to do. 
if you were to make something fake because this object that we're looking at here that was captured by a drone doesn't well it doesn't act normal from every other ufo we've seen right it, it looks like a shoe with the string on it some people think this is a spider hanging from a spider web catching the wind it would have to be going about 60 miles an hour i think somebody said that's how fast this object went by the drone i'm gonna show you something because in this video you can see something in the trees that's moving along in the direction of where this object appears. Two different places, actually. This is bizarre. And I can't explain what I'm going to show you. But let me tell you something. This could be history in a way that I've never expected. Look at this. It is bizarre. He enhanced it a little bit. The guy did a really good job. But I'm going to show you some things here that are really a little more interesting. Look at that. I don't know what that could be. But he has more. There is more. We'll do a part two on this as well. But I'm going to show you some things here now. So hang tight. Check this out. Watch, watch. So... In this area, you can see behind the building here, there's like brown brush. And then, I don't know if it's tall trees or whatever, but watch. Here we go. There's the object right there. Before it even is seen, look at it go through the trees. Watch this. And I blew it up a little bit and slowed it down so you could see it. See it go through the trees? It's like even meandering. It's weird, but watch what's going to happen here in a second. I zoom in a little more for you here. See it at the top? Watch. See how it's moving back and forth? Almost like, I don't know, like it's dodging stuff. But it pops out right there. Watch this. Watch. Then it moves over there. I don't get it. It appears to disappear and reappear. Watch at the top here. Watch. Now you can see it. Now you're going to see it. I paused it so you get to watch. Watch. Now it's going through there. I know I didn't zoom this part in. But you can see it. Uh, it is just bizarre. Why it disappears. It's, it's right behind that barn area. But watch this. This is the other side. Right there. Something popped up out of nowhere. Running through the trees. I, and you can see it running through. Now it's going to come up and out. Because the way it was edited, I went with what was in front of me. I tried to find a version of something that looked like this. And I remember the rubber duck video. I couldn't find a, a good version to show you. Everything looks like a blob now. So I tried to think, well, maybe it's like the rubber duck, but interesting. Here we have an object that popped up on uh, that uh, satellite that looks at the sun and different versions of it. And this thing popped up and it looks like a winged creature. You could see, I'm telling you, if this is a biological entity near the sun, it is enormous, enormous. That looks like a bird. You could even see a beak, eyes. I know it might, it, it, it's probably pareidolia, but it's got a body to it. You can see the dark version right there, two wings, one out there. You see that? I mean, it's, it's bizarre. And the wings look like they're probably the same size. Could this be a craft? Maybe the sun is like a portal. People have said that for ages. I'm not one really to buy into that, but hey, I don't know. Why do they go around volcanoes? <laughs> Why do we have USOs? Why are they seen on the moon? So is it that far-fetched that the sun could be some sort of portal? 
maybe uh, maybe that's the key to traveling. Who knows? This is amazing. So what you see is this object going underneath the ISS. And I'm going to enhance it a little bit for you and blow it up. You can see what looks like flapping wings. I, I, I don't know. Take a look. You got to be the judge on this one. I don't even want to say anything, to be honest with you. It's bizarre. It's flapping, flapping, flapping. This is unreal. I've never seen anything like this before. Why is it in space? That's what I want to know. Extraterrestrial biological entities. If this isn't some sort of futuristic, biological, maybe ancient, maybe, uh, maybe it's uh, why they talked about dragons. I don't know, man. I mean, I don't even want to say don't even want to get I can't imagine what it would be look at this and it's not small mind you it's it's rather large I I don't even know what size I would give it a um, hundred feet it depends how far away it is is this right next to it uh, the ISS or I, I don't know your guess is as good as mine I'm going to let it play out. I did a little enhancements. So take a look. You can see, even when I speed it up, you can see the flapping. It's bizarre. I don't know, man. But EBEs could very well be real in outer space. On Earth, in Earth, around Earth. This is amazing. What a night. Good, good stuff tonight. Whoa, here we go. Back into reality. Down the digital portal into the world you call life reality. I want to thank everybody for hanging out tonight. Thank you to Third Phase of Moon and thank you ISS for giving us some interesting video tonight. I'm Rich Giordano from Goofon. This has been a Third Phase UFO report. Take care everybody. We'll see you next time.